b -b 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 burlesque. It's the freaky new phenomenon that's making everyone stand to attention. <laughs> Word. Dita Von Tess, the Suicide Girls, even Melbourne's own KK Juggy. Everybody's doing the burlesque thing. Hard on. Post feminism. Ramadama ding dong. It's cool for girls, because they get to dress up in like really cool clothes from the 50s and 60s. Ah, oh, yeah, and it's cool for us guys, because we get to check out some mad titties and more. Ow! Yo, what up, homie, Brad? It's just like, I'm a pretty sensitive guy. And like, all my life, it's been pretty uncool to look at pictures of girls with no clothes on. Real uncool. Yeah, totally understandable, B-Rad. But whenever my snagometer goes O-scale, I listen to the words of the great Roland Barr speaking here of the stripper's G-string. This ultimate triangle, by its pure and geometric form, by its brilliant and hard material, brandishes sex like a pure sword and reimagines the woman in a mineralogical universe, the precious stone being here the irrefutable theme of the total and unuseful object. Awesome. I have no idea what that means, but it makes me want to look at titties. Now. Boys at the cutting edge, never looking back with real arty cool and we're dealing with the records. Mm. You know it. Sometimes it hurts so hard to own shizzle like we own shizzle. Hizzle. <laughs> this week, we three band of brothers are going to debut the first ever all-male burlesque troupe. Us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, mamas, because the article is turning now sexy up to 11. Oh, hey, and you guys at home? Yeah, you can get horny too. We're totally cool with it. Go back! Anyways, hombres, this is how we do it. Bye guys, thank See you. Next time. Thanks everyone. Cheers. Cheers guys. He'll kill ya! Like JFK! He'll thrill ya! Like Tyrannosaurus Rex! He'll kill ya! Like Bill Cosby! He'll mill ya! I'm Dr. Jeffrey Bates. Today we'll be conducting a series of tests, a clinical study, the science of humor and laughter. I will set forth a number of expressions, words, meanings, and thereupon my subject, subject, will react, triggered, by the effects of my expression. My data will thereupon be gathered. I will speak. She will, my subject, she will react. I will comment and we will conclude. 
defined the science of laughter. My subject. The subject is ready. Right, well, let's get started then. Forget this heat. I'm nicking off down the drip. Forget this heat. I'm nicking off down the pub. Hey Tony man, what you doing? Just write more your sick poetry? Yeah man. Sick, 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 sick! It's almost the number a bit longer. Tony, hey, Jim, is that, is that you guys? Hey Con. Why are you guys all dressed in black and shit? You look like freaks. Come on mate, why are we dressed in black? Because we're goths. goths. What do you reckon man? Goths. You know? We're goths. Yeah. Seriously? Seriously. Yeah Con, the thing is not, we had a lot of darkness inside our souls and we needed an outlet for it to go. You know what yeah. I mean? I'll do right. my artworks. I write like my poetries. Yeah. He, he collects rings and boots. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, Con. I've over 10 pairs of black boots. The ones I'm wearing today, Dr. Mons. You know what I mean? Black. Con, I have a dream that one day every man, woman, and lesbian will own a pair of black boots. It's, uh, it's kind of gay, though, huh? It's not gay, it's golf. You don't understand, mate. Yeah, Con, it's complex, Con. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. The other night though, I did this, I did this hot chick in a car park. She was so hot, seriously. You wouldn't understand because relationships for us goths, they're very difficult because, because of the darkness. Yeah, Con. Oh, there's an all-pervading darkness that engulfs her very soul. Seriously. It's big and black. Sick, right? Hey, man. Hey, Shane. Shane. Hey. Meet our friend Con, man. He's a good guy. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? I'm at con. You wanna hey. come, come talk? Whatever. He's just going. Oh, he's a pretty good guy. Don't take it personally, you know. Us, us goths are very intense people. He's got a lot going on in there. Yeah. Dark things. I would not even try to understand the con. It'll explode your little oggy head. Yeah, right. I might just, um, I might just head over down this way for a really? while. Alright, All right. see you guys later. You'll see you on Sunday at the thing. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Oh. You seen Callista? No. How did you get here? We drove. Because, like, if you were seeing Callista, we'll come too, you know, hang out, do the goth thing. No, what? There, this, there is no goth thing. This isn't a joke to me. This is my life. Yeah, man, I know, it's true. We've all tasted the darkness. There is no darkness. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, the darkness. Only when I'm asleep does it not touch me. Anyways, where's Kalista? I don't know. Just leave me alone. Hey man, don't disrespect him. He just wants to know where Kalista is, you know? I mean, hey, oh. I was always giving us trouble, man. Look, mate, yeah. walk all 50 cars, you know what I mean? One, what, what? Call what? Oh right, man, here we go. Look, I'll say it again. One call, 50 cars. I see. Yeah, just what I thought, okay? I don't respond to threats. It's okay, man, just relax, you know? Look, I'll recite your poem, and we'll bring us all back to the abyss. Yeah, no thanks, I don't think you know. Just stay away from me. Stay away from Callista. Uh, he's a really good guy, man. Yeah, you yeah. know? Really good boots, too. Yeah, good boots. Definite cheer. Now tell.
tell me how do you react to seeing these things with your eyes turned, girl? The subject has turned and is ready to react to visuals. Enjoyment. <laughs> Ow. Too fake. <laughs> A smile. <laughs> that was very funny. I've been having great difficulty. It's soccer training. Well... It weighs on my mind, I'd like your input. The under 10 side, they're good boys, they're all good boys. One boy though, his name is Connor. I don't like him, Connor. He's a little... He's a little shit. I don't mind saying that to you, because you'll understand. He's a little shit. I said, his mother's no better. I said to his mother, you know what? If he keeps this up, throwing bats, throwing balls, swearing at me, spitting on my shoes, if he keeps this up, I'll spank his little bottom. I said that, Carol, I said that. Carol? <clears throat> So I said, I'll spank his little bottom. You, you, you won't believe it. She accused me of being a pedophile. Point blank, you know. If that's not enough, this woman. I get the new uniforms. All off my own bat, Carol, you remember? All off my own bat. I went down there, I ordered them numbers, names, the cutest little things for these cute little kids. And uh, this Connor's mother, this woman, this she says, no, no, it's not the right colour, I don't like it, it won't suit my corner. Scrap it, scrap it. I mean, what are you to do? What are you to do with someone like that? Makes sense. <laughs> you do make me laugh, Carol. <laughs> Oh dear, you're so wise, such a wise little thing. <laughs> oh, or I could murder her and her son in their beds. <laughs> Let's have some wine. Do you want some wine? Well, I do. As if you won't drink half the bottle once I've corked it. Well, I will buy screw caps. So funny. What's down there? What are you looking for? It's not there. Uh, I don't think it's down there. I'll find it for you later. Go and have a bath. Have a bath and come and get me when you're done. I'm going to have a nap. Not particularly happy, still in a good mood. <laughs> Somewhat bemused. Subject found she enjoyed her time. She was treated was treated well during and throughout the experiment. One thing, Hardly, one, one shot. One thing we know for sure: 
science won today, hilarity ensued and prevailed. Is it on yet, Dad? I'm just getting the frame right, Deborah. Um... Dad, it's Danny. Please get it right. All right, and go. Hi. Hi. Welcome, Australia. Um, welcome to my bedroom. I'm the host of this video diary, Danny Starr. Um, Danny is uh, D A N N I I E, star as in um, like movie star. All my life, people have said to me, Danny, you have got what it takes to be a star. And I've always thought, yeah, I mean, why not? Like, I'm a Kylie, I'm a Delta, I mean, <laughs> Nikki Webster, um, Blair from Big Brother, I am Shannon Knoll. Like, I'm all of these wrapped together. And to prove it, Australia, I have an audition with the casting director of Neighbours, Mr. Jack Russell, in seven days' time. <laughs> oh, love, Deborah. You all right, love? <sighs> Did that look real? Um, so this is my bedroom, uh, here, these are my posters, um, what I do is with all the stars I follow their career on the wall, so like here's Nikki Webster, um, 13 at the Olympic Games, 14 then she becomes a singer, um, 17 on the cover of FHM, um, then I also like follow Delta's career, she was on Neighbours first and then she became a singer, um, so here's her in Innocent Eyes but she's not very innocent because then she fakes cancer just so that people buy her album and here's her like in a really bad wig. Um, then my favourite, my favourite things ever are my photos of me with the Neighbours stars. So this is me with Blair, um, he said that I would probably win if I was on Big Brother. Um, this is me with Harold, Harold and I were talking a lot about acting and all the like, and all the really serious things about acting. He was really nice. Um, me with Susan Kennedy from Neighbours, um, me with Toady um, and some like really creepy guy from the BBC. Yeah. Um, come on, I've just got something else. Um, on this side, now this is my project for art. What I've done is I've made my own TV studio. So this is like the TV um, with me on it, like obviously. Um, the other thing that I have here is like the boom mic. They call it. So what I do is I get my dad to follow me around the house um, with this so that I can pretend that I'm in like an acting studio. Harold, what do you mean that Lassiter's burnt down? Do the voice, Dad. Oh, uh, well, well uh, it, it couldn't be helped. Uh, nobody could prevent it. Now come back to me. Come oh my God! To eyelet flossing, to eyelet paper. Some call it TP, Native Americans. Hot tip, cold tip. It's ink, running water. Oh, a luxury. To owe the brush, hygienic. I like trick to owe the brush. Look there, shh. Aving razor, shh. Aving mirror, only for the lucky ones. Show her head. Ha, I dryer. I dryer. Hot air. Plug. Plug, holé. Let it go. Then I tie you in it. It's no design. Show her. For wetting. You know, Carol the cat is a pretty unique customer. She's rude, 
She's crude, and she doesn't hold back about what she's thinking. But how you act around your friends is different to how you act around people that you haven't met before. It's important to remember when you're meeting someone for the first time, not to be too fly or fresh. So the next time you meet someone new, try not to talk too much jazz, as you might come off as a little bit arrogant. And remember, no war has ever begun through people being overly polite. Really perfectly, didn't it? It was amazing. Yeah.